Hello, my dear students in grade seven. I hope you are all good and safe with your family. Uh, this is our second mathematics lecture uh, in these hard circumstances. Uh, and we will continue in our lesson, <clears throat> in our first lesson in grade seven, which is powers. What are we going to learn in this lesson? The objectives of this lesson are <clears throat> objective number one. As a reminder, I will remind you of the power notation or the power form, which is the base and the exponent. Objective number two, we will learn and apply some rules of powers, which are very important. You should study them and know how to apply each rule. Number three, together we will identify powers of 10. As I said last time, when we talk about power, it is a repeated multiplication sentence written in power form. So the power form or the power notation, we will have the same number multiplied by itself many times, a times a times a times a, etc. We, ca we can write it in power form as a to the power n, where a is the repeated number and n is the number of repetitions. Also, this is the power notation, a to the power n, where a is the base and n is the exponent. So we say a, the base, is multiplied by itself n times. The rules of powers. These rules are very important. These are new in our lesson that you haven't seen last year. First rule, we have a to the power 0 is equal to 1. What does this mean? This means that any number when the exponent is zero, always my answer is one. So whenever you see, for example, 357 to the power zero, any number to the power zero, always you write your answer as one. So you should memorize this. Any number to the power zero gives me one. Any number to the power one gives me the number itself. As if I'm saying 188 to the power one, as if I am multiplying 188 by itself one time, so it gives me again the number itself, which is 188. One to the power n, so is equal to one. One to the power 27, for example, as, as if I am multiplying one by itself 27 times, so it gives me one. Zero to the power n is equal to zero. So zero to the power, for example, 259, whatever n is, is equal to zero. Now we start talking about the rules of power that we use in calculations. The first rule, a to the power m times a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. What does this mean? If I am multiplying two powers having same bases but different exponents, I keep the base and I add the exponents. So whenever you see something like this, you always apply this rule. As an example, for example, I am multiplying three to the power four by three squared. So I keep the base of three and I add four plus two. So my answer will be three to the power six. Now rule number two, if I am dividing two numbers to the same exponent, this exponent outside can be given to the numerator and to the denominator. So it can be written as a to the power n over b to the power n. For example, 7 over 3, all of it to the power 4 is equal 7 to the power 4 over 3 to the power 4. Rule number three, this rule, we call it power of power. We have one base, but we have two exponents, a to the power m, all of it to the power n. So I keep the base a and I multiply the exponent m times n. For example, five squared, all of it to the power four is equal five to the power two times four, which is five to the power eight. Rule number four, 
Here I am multiplying two numbers having the same exponent. Also, this exponent can be given to both numbers. So A times B, all of it to the power N, is equal A to the power N times B to the power N. This only applies in the case of multiplication. We cannot apply it if we have addition or subtraction inside. As an example, 3 times 5, all of it cube, equal 3 cube times 5 cube. Now we multiply. Since we have different bases, same exponent, I can multiply the bases. So it's equal to 15 cube. Now the last rule is a very important rule, a to the power m over a to the power n. I am dividing two, x, two powers having same basis, different exponents. So I keep the base and I subtract the exponent in the numerator minus the exponent in the denominator, so a to the power m minus n. For example, 7 to the power 11 over 7 to the power 5. I write 7, then I subtract 11 minus 5, it gives me 7 to the power 6. So as I said, these rules written in blue, the blue rules, please, you should memorize them in order to know how to apply these rules. Now we will solve a practice together. First, I have 625 to the power 0, as I said. Any base to the power zero always gives me one. Yes, the answer is one. One to the power 42. As if I am multiplying one by itself 42 times, one times one times one, etc. The answer is one. 1,972 to the power one. As if I am multiplying 1,972 by itself one time, it gives me the number itself. 0 to the power 39 is equal to 0. This is a rule. So you should memorize these rules in order to apply them. 8029 to the power 0 gives me 1. Now the power of power. I have one base and two exponents. So I keep the base 2 and I multiply the exponents. 2 to the power 4 times 5 is equal to 2 to the power 20. We always should stop at this answer. 7 to the power 11, all of it to the power 0. So we write 7 to the power 11 times 0 is equal 7 to the power 0, which is 1. Why? We have, we have the base to the power 0. The answer is 1. 8 to the power 3, all of it to the power 7 is equal 8 to the power 3 times 7, which is 8 to the power 21. Also here, 4 to the power 5, all of it to the power 10. So we write 4 to the power 5 times 10, which is equal 4 to the power 50. Here I have 9 to the power 5 times 9 to the power 7. I am multiplying two powers have same base, different exponents. What does the rule say? We keep the base 9 and we add 5 plus 7, which is equal 9 to the power 12. 5 to the power 7 times 5. Here, the exponent, the power 5 has no exponent, so I put it any power having no exponent, we put it to the exponent 1. So I am multiplying two bases, two powers having same bases, different exponents. 5 to the power 7 plus 1 is equal 5 to the power 8. Also, if we have three powers having same bases, different exponents, I keep the base 2 and I add the exponents 2 to the power 17. The base can also be a fraction. 5 over 9, all of it to the power 4, times 5 over 9, all of it to the power 5. Here the base is 5 over 9. Here the base is 5 over 9. So I keep the base 5 over 9, and I add exponents. 4 plus 5 is 9. Now I have 3 times 7, all of it to the power 5. Here I multiply 3 times 7, all of it to the power 5, because I have inside the parenthesis, two numbers multiplied together. 4 to the power 7 times 10 to the power 7. I am multiplying two powers having different bases, same exponent. So I multiply the bases 4 times 10 is 40 to the power 7. Also here, I multiply 5 times 8 times 3 is equal to 120, and I keep the exponent 2. Let's continue. 
I have five over three, all of it to the power six. The exponent outside can be given for the numerator and for the denominator. But I want you here to pay attention for a very important remark. First, before giving the exponent to the numerator and denominator, always check if your fraction is irreducible. It cannot be reduced. Five over three, we cannot reduce it anymore. We cannot make it smaller. So I give six to five and I give six to three. It's five to the power three over three to the uh, five to the power six over three to the power six. Also here, my fraction is irreducible, so I, uh, I write 7 cube over 9 cube. Now I have 24 over 9. I have the fraction 24 over 9, all of it squared. 24 over 9, it's, it can be reduced. I can divide the 24 by 3 and 9 by 3. So I write 8 over 3, all of it squared. Now I give the square for the 8 and the 3. Now, two cube over five, all of it squared. Now, the number here has a power. So two will be given to the two cube. So I write the two cube, all of it squared, and two is given for the five, I write it five squared. Now here I have power of power, so I write it five to the power six over, two to the power six over five squared. Also here, five is given to seven and five is given to the exponent four. So I write seven to the power five over two to the power four, all of it to the power five. I make the power of power. 12 over two to the power five, all of it to the power zero. Five to the power z uh, times zero is equal to zero. So I write 12 over one, which is equal to 12. Here I am dividing two powers having same base, different exponents. What does the rule say? I keep the base and I subtract the exponents. So 9 minus 4 equals 7 to the power 5. Also here I keep the base 13 and 10 minus 8 is equal to 10 squared. Here also the, the, I keep the base 10 and 7 minus 3 is equal to 10 to the power 4. Here I have the base 10, so I keep the base 10 and I write 4 minus 11, which is equal to minus 7. Now we will talk about powers of 10. Why do we call them powers of 10? Because their base is 10. So any base having, uh, any power having base 10, we call it a power of 10. Also in the power of 10, we have a base and exponent. Also, my, uh, always my base is 10 and the exponent differs. Now, for example, 10 squared, I write it 10 times 10, which is equal to 100. 10 cubed, I write it 10 times 10 times 10 is equal to 1,000. But I can do it in an easier way. To calculate powers of 10, we always write 1 from the base in our answer, and we add zeros to the right of the 1 as the exponent. For example, 10 to the power 5, how can I write this answer directly without writing a repeated multiplication sentence? I take from the base 1, and I add 5 zeros to the right. 10 to the power 9, I write 1, and I add 9 zeros. 10 to the power 0, I write one and I add no zero. Let's practice these together. Calculate the powers of 10. 10 to the power seven, as I said, I write one and I add seven zeros. 10 to the power four, we write one and we add four zeros. 10 to the power one, we add one and we add one zero. 10 to the power zero, we write one and we add no zero. Let's apply rules of power on powers of 10. In the first example, we have 10 to the power 4 times 10 squared times 10, 7. Which rule of power do I apply here? Multiplication, same basis, different exponents. So I keep the base 10 and I add the exponents. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 7 is 13. So 10 to the power 13. 10 to the power 8 times 10. If I look at this 10, it has no exponent. As I said, 
When we have no exponent, my exponent should be one. So I am multiplying same basis, different exponents. I write the base 10 and I add exponents. Eight plus one is equal to nine. 10 to the power 11 over 10 to the power six. I'm dividing powers having same basis, different exponents. So I keep the base 10 and I subtract exponents. 11 minus six is equal 10 to the power five. In the last one also I write 10 and I subtract always the upper exponent in the numerator minus in the denominator say 10 to the power 8 minus 5 is equal to 10 cubed. Please practice these exercises on a draft to understand the rules well. This was our lecture for this week. I want you to watch the lecture well, and if you have any question, please directly contact me. I miss you all so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.